a Cosmic Cycle Internal Office Memorandum Arcadia 2, Clark Wilson from, Sebastian Brown, Chief Archivist Subject, Project Cosmostate, October 3, 2003 Clark, I've attached the files and excerpts you've requested below. It isn't a lot but given the amount of time I had, I'd say it's enough to get a good glimpse at the cosmos for whatever it is you're doing. I've attached some notes of mine to the electronic version of the documents, but some of them are missing from this set. If you have any problems, you know how to contact me. P.S. You like the way the old memos look? I managed to get a hold of one and I'm trying to convince people they're still usable. I also put some footnotes in case you need a little background info. Call me later and we can talk about it some. Unlock% 20 the% 20 cosmos.png This is an advertisement for the Cosmos I found in the marketing section. Seb. 2. Mr. Alan Olcorn 1 from, Arcadia, Inc. 2 date, January 2, 1982 Dear Mr. Alcorn. We at Arcadia are saddened to hear about the recent termination of your employment at Atari Inc. and wish to express our sincere condolences for this unfortunate event. It is always hard to see someone we admire and respect greatly to be mistreated. We are proud of our commitment to making our business a family endeavor, all of Arcadia works in tandem, like a family, to deliver quality entertainment and innovative technology to the masses. Arcadia is dedicated to our employees, we offer numerous benefits to our hard workers, and guarantee employee satisfaction. Following a review of your employment history, medical records, legal documents, affiliation with competitors, family relations, and financial history, we have decided to contact you with the hopes of requesting that you meet with us on January 9, 1982, this coming Saturday, to discuss the potential for your employment as a member of Arcadia's ever-growing family. Please contact us via phone to confirm your attendance. We hope to see you there. Arcadia. Recorded Transcript. 11 slash 13 slash 82 ALC forward, transcript of a conversation between Alan Alcorn and Carl Franklin III concerning Project Cosmos. A few days prior, Mr. Alcorn had been hired to work at Arcadia. The following has been taken from a company tape recorder provided for archival purposes. Begin log Franklin, so yeah, if you don't mind, I've just set up this tape recorder. Some people have been interested in a preserving Arcadia's history so to speak. Alcorn, yeah, yeah that's fine, I don't mind. Franklin, alright then. Well, first order of business, welcome to Arcadia, I'm Carl. I work in engineering, I've been told that is what you are most familiar with yes? Alcorn, yes, I did engineering for Atari from 72 until last year. Franklin, yes, 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 Atari. Now, I've been told that during your time there you were working on something big, yes? Something to do with illusions? Alcorn, holographs. We had a console ready to go, Cosmos, but Kasser 4 got cold feet at the last second. It's a pretty impressive system, it's a shame he shelved it. Franklin, alright, well, I am happy to say that a few of us here took quite a bit of interest in your work and because of that marketing has agreed to allow us to work on an improved version of the concept. Isn't that exciting? Alcorn, really? Wow, I mean. Gee, that's great. When do we, uh, when do we start? Franklin, of course we have to deal with some of the legalities first, but at this rate I'd probably say. April? There's other stuff for you to do until then of course, so don't worry. Irrelevant text removed all corn, all right, well it's been a pleasure meeting you Carl. I can't wait to start working with you and the rest of the team. Franklin, the pleasure's all mine, Al. Have a good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Log and internal office memorandum Arcadia 2, the Arcadia Cosmos development team from, Daniel Dunn 5, President and CEO of Arcadia Incorporated Subject, Congratulations. Date. April 28, 1982 Congratulations to the Cosmos Development Team for starting work on Arcadia's next product. This is just the start of a long journey towards Arcadia's next hit in the amazing video entertainment industry.
I have full confidence that you all will deliver a quality product the likes of which have never been seen before. We all know you will be doing great things for our family, and cannot wait for what the future brings. Sincerely, Daniel Dunn. Arcadia Cosmostev. Report. December 11, 1982 1. History of Development of the Product. Development of the product began in April, 1982, following the assignment of Mr. Alan Olcorn to a small team previously engaged in the development of coin op machines. Work proceeded smoothly throughout the following months. Please see the attached memorandums for further information on development during this period. A finalized design was agreed upon in August of the same year, although protests from Mr. Alcorn significantly hindered progress on this decision. Development of the hardware for the system began in November of this year, and is currently underway. 2. Finalized decisions on hardware. Following an internal discussion by the Cosmos development team, a final decision on the hardware of the system was made. It was determined that the initial design of the Cosmos that Mr. Alcorn had brought to our attention, could be significantly improved if major changes were made. Mr. Theodore Wilkins 6 who previously was working on the Arcadian Projector 7, C Section 3, recommended that Mr. Alcorn contact the appropriate office to request the use of the projector in the Cosmos. A request was filed with the appropriate office, and has since been granted. It was determined that, instead of creating the illusion of a three-dimensional image through the use of holographic technology, the Arcadian projector is able to be used to project multiple three-dimensional images into a three-dimensional space, such as a small room. The development team has since set out to discover how to best utilize the device in a way that allows for interactive entertainment in a small living room. 3. Arcadian Projector The Arcadian projector is a miniaturized projector which can project two-dimensional images into a three-dimensional space as three-dimensional objects. Through the use of the B.M.C.C.8C, the BMCC and U, an Arcadian guide to connections with HAL 9 for more information, the projector is able to utilize gate particles 10 to product this effect. Reports of interference by entities not approved by Arcadia are currently being investigated, and the relevant reports can be requested from the appropriate department. Recorded Transcript 8702-23-83ALC forward, the following is a transcript of a telephone call between two Arcadia employees, Jonathan Edwards 11 and James Walton 12. Begin log Edwards, hello? Who is this? Walton, Ed, it's me, Jim, listen I Edwards, what? Hold on. It's 2 in the morning, what the hell are you doing? Walton, I need your help Ed. I got this, I got this issue here. Edwards, uh, yeah? Walton, so, I'm having some issues with the Cosmos, I'm trying to do stuff for the uh, the, the centipede game. Edwards, right. Walton, all of a sudden, I see a damn centipede fly out of the machine I'm trying to work with. Edwards, okay? What do you want me to do about it? Go call a corn at 2 in the morning on a Saturday? Go to bed Jim. Walton, listen, listen, you got to listen to me he read. I'm trying to do a simple thing, just trying to get the console to project the right images in the right location. Either you help me or I have to be the one to tell Alcorn we're gonna need another week extension. Edwards, fine, I'll be over in a bit. End log down, we're having trouble with development of the Cosmos. Tons of bugs have popped up. And with all this new hardware and word tech you have us working with, I have no idea how to properly address these issues. We're a small team, and you only gave me a few people to work with here. We desperately need more resources and people, Wilkins quit last week 13 and he knew more about this paranormal stuff than any of us do. I mean, you have us working with hardware and technology most people here have never even heard of, much less worked with. If you really want us to finish this, you're gonna have to give us more resources here. Alcorn notice to all retailers Arcadia 2, store management from, Arcadia subject, Cosmos deliveries date, December 19, 1983 Due to unforeseen circumstances, deliveries of the Arcadia Cosmos system have been indefinitely postponed.
we sincerely apologize for the delay, and wish to extend our gratitude for the patience displayed by our wonderful retail partners. In the meantime, deliveries of other products shall continue on schedule, with minimal to no delay. Any questions regarding Arcadia products, deliveries, or concerns should be delivered to the appropriate office. For further information please contact us by phone or mail. Thank you, Arcadia Recorded Transcript, 53-5-6-84ALC Forward. The following is a transcript of a recorded conversation between Alan Olcorn and Jonathan Edwards. Begin log The sound of people walking and typing can be heard. Edwards, hey, Al. I think you should look at this. Alcorn is heard sighing, then standing up and moving slowly across the room. Alcorn, what is it, Ed? Another bug? Another call from your damn demon FR Edwards, don't speak to me like that Al. I've got it hard enough without having to listen to your shit. Alcorn, my shit? My shit? You think I wanted this? You think I wanted to build something like this? Do you honestly think that I wanted any part in this? Edwards, I haven't slept in months Alan, you aren't the only one suffering here. I've poured my time, blood, sweat, and tears into this project. I'd like to get it done. Please. There is a 15 second pause. Edwards, the BMCC isn't working right. The Cosmos is using up more power than it should. It's acting like it needs to power something huge, but we don't need that much power. It's overloading the system Alan, I cannot finish the games by the end of the year if we do not get this fixed. Alcorn, I have no idea how to fix it. Edwards, well, we need to figure it out if you want this to release. I've done just about everything I can to get this working, this isn't some issue we've had for a while, this is a new issue. Either the BMCCs are faulty entirely, or someone has tampered with the console. Alcorn, are you serious? Edwards, Alan, I caught Alcorn, you're telling me that this is a new issue. That this has not popped up before? That the centipedes falling out of the machine? The damn rocks flying out of the projector like a bullet are all unrelated? You're telling me we have no goddamn clue why this is happening? Edwards, Alan, please call Alcorn, don't tell me to calm down. I'm going to see done. The sound of a door slamming can be heard. In log video transcript, 54-5-6-84ALC forward, the following is a transcript of a filmed conversation between Daniel Dunn and Alan Alcorn. Begin log Alcorn, done. Done, Alcorn. How are you? Would you like some coffee? Alcorn, I'm fine. Done, we need to talk. Done, about what? Alcorn, the Cosmos. It's not working. We can't get anything done. We cannot get it done by Christmas with the amount of materials you have given us. Done, Al, you sigh Alcorn, I know what I said. I was wrong. We cannot get it done. Dan, I can't do this anymore. I've been unable to sleep, I feel like something is watching me all the time, the damn machine breaks almost every day at this point. All this. This. Demonic shit you got us working with is hurting us Dan. Done, everything should be working, the BMCC has been thoroughly tested and is used in numerous other products. Alcorn, it isn't working. Whatever the hell you have us working with is producing more energy than is necessary, it is overloading the system and God knows what else it's doing. Here, let me show you something. A thudding sound can be heard as Alcorn drops the Arcadia Cosmos on the table. Alcorn, this is the Cosmos. This is the one you have us building right now. This is what consumers will see come year's end. Alcorn stands up, and turns the room's lights off, before turning the system on. Overhead, the Arcadia logo is projected, situated just above Alcorn and Dunn. After a few seconds, it flickers, and completely fades away. Dunn, what is your point Alan, what are you try Dunn is cut off, as the Arcadia logo appears again, glowing, instead of the previous blue, a blood red color Alcorn, this is what you have me working with Dunn. I didn't want this. I wanted to make Cosmos better. I wanted to finish Cosmos. You brought all of this satanic bullshit into it, 
people died because of this done. We could have had Cosmos released two years ago, but you pushed for something bigger, something grander. Done, every decision I make is for the good of Arcadia as a company, and as a family. Alcorn, really? Is the cocaine for the good of the company Dan? Is the constant drug parties, satanic rituals, demonic sacrifices, all of that is for the good of us? That's bullshit Dan. I spent over a decade at Atari, I know how this works. I know how this game is played. I can't do this anymore. There is a 30 second pause. Done, what do you want? Alcorn, I want creative freedom over my own projects. I want to be able to make the cosmos how it was intended, without the demons, without the cocaine, without the bugs and the damn projector. I want to be able to have fun with my work again done. I want permission to scrap the cosmos as it is and return to the old design, and finish it up. Done, Alan. You know I can't do that. You've been working for so long, and you've gotten so far. Do you really want to end it here? Alcorn, I can't get it done by the end of the year. If I keep working on this more people are going to get hurt and we will continue to push back the date. Done, Alan, you're a part of this family. I care about you as I do with everyone in this company. Arcadia is a family, and like all families we have our disagreements, we have our bad times, we all have issues. But as the head of this family, and as a friend, I'm afraid it is my responsibility to ask that you continue on with your work. I will try my best to give you more Alcorn slams his hand on the desk. Alcorn, I don't want help. I want to finish my project, I want to finish my job. I've had enough of this company, of this family, I'm sick and tired of the constant ignorance of the problems people here have. I've done everything I can, if you aren't going to listen to me then I can't be here anymore. Done, you wish to quit? Alcorn, yes. I want to resign. Done, Al. I'm your friend. I'm here for you. Alcorn, I'm quitting. That is final. You will not listen and I cannot continue to work in this environment. There is a 30 second pause. Done, alright. I'm sorry to hear this Al. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Do you have any other requests? Alcorn, please cancel the Cosmos. Don't release that to the public. It isn't safe. Done, Al. You've worked so hot Alcorn, please. Done. Alright. The cosmos will be shelved. Your final paycheck will be delivered to you via mail. Alcorn, don't bother. Give it to Ed, tell him I'm sorry. Alcorn stands up, and begins to leave. The door opens, and Alcorn exits the room. The Arcadia logo begins to fade away. Dunn is seen with his head in his hands. End log. My dear friend Alan, it is always unfortunate when a member of our family is unable to achieve his dreams. When a truly visionary idea is unable to pass the rigors of development. It is quite sad, truly, to hear that a beloved member of the Arcadian family must go his own way. Life, however, continues and I write to you today with a request, from a friend. I have something to show you Alan. You know where to find me. Your friend, Nolan Bushnell.14 Footnotes 1. You've probably met or heard of this guy, he made Pong back in the day. He was one of the big shots at Atari when it was starting. He worked on the Cosmos at Atari for a bit before he left, some issues with Warner if I recall. I didn't actually know we kept in contact with him. Worth checking him out if you have time. 2. Unsure if we still go by Incorporated or if we use a different name. I'll ask Jenna sometime later, she probably knows. 3. Carl Franklin Engineer at Arcadia from 1978 to 1991, one of the few folks from the engineering division who managed to stay on so long, probably met him at some point but I don't recall. 4. Ray Kasser, CEO of Atari Incorporated when it was owned by Warner. That would be 1978 to 1984. 5. Don left in 86 if I recall. Met the guy a few times I think around 93 or 94 but I don't remember. He always wore that damn orange tie of his. 6. Wilkins left Arcadia in 89, left a note on his desk and just stopped showing up to work. 
I met him a few times when I got here in 88. 7. I've never heard of any projector, if I had to guess I'd assume it was another one of the crazy ideas cooked up by the R&D teams. 8. The Bushnell Motion Circuit Connector, some kind of conduit to the underworld. 9. An apt name, I remember being given this book in 93 as a birthday gift. It's pretty funny, definitely feels like something Nolan would have been involved in. 10. K particles, or as I like to call it, hell energy is just fancy talk for energy extracted from hell. Cool in concept, boring in reality. 11. John was the one who introduced me to Arcadia back around 87 or so, he knew I needed a job and hooked me up with the right folks. Nice man, unfortunately he passed away last year. 12. James is a funny fella, he still works here, but he's talked about retiring as of late. If you want to speak with him just email me later and I'll hook you up. 13. Wilkins did mention to me he left in 84 due to personal issues. He came back in 85 with the whole rebranding thing. 14. Bushnell shouldn't have been involved at all with Arcadia at this point. This was 84. So it's possible he's just saying shit to get Alcorn to meet with him.